Good morning. Today is injection day uh, for Dupixent. So I'm going to show you, oh, I did scratch myself. That's what that is. I'm going to show you what I do to prepare for it because I have a little one who I can't um, carry or hold while I'm doing the injection. So he, he's got a popsicle. Are we ready to go watch a movie? Go watch Toy Story? Let's go. So we're going to go head to Isaiah's room. Um, and we're gonna turn on a movie and then I'm gonna have to close the door because his room is a safe space for him We got his bed and his table and we got toys over there okay. and all the outlets have little Clear protectors on them so he can't play with it so I can Keep him in here for just a few minutes while I do my injection that way he doesn't um, That way he doesn't accidentally bump me you ready to watch TV? So we got Toy Story playing, and he's got all of his, he's got a Popsicle, he's got Woody and Jesse and Buzz, and so now I can walk out peacefully. This is the layout we're working with. I took this out a little over an hour ago, so it's nice and room temperature, so it's ready to be injected. I got my alcohol swabs. I do um, one for my fingers and then I do my stomach, but before I do this, I make sure that like part the stomach I'm gonna be injecting is out so I'm not touching my clothes. I also like to put a bandaid on it. Uh, it's just me, you really don't have to do this. I prefer this over a cotton ball, even though I have them. Um, I am on blood thinners for my stent surgery, so I do sometimes get a little, like, little drop of blood, but not usually, so um, that's what that's for. And then my sharps container, I recommend if if it's your first time doing a Dupixent shot, buy a bigger one. Um, I had to buy this during the pandemic and this is the only one that my parents could find because it had to go out for me. And the hole on the top is that big and that does not fit. So my husband has to pop this whole thing off to fit that in it. So buy a bigger container <laughs> and I'm gonna start preparing. So I'm sitting down. I'm gonna be doing it on this side of my stomach because I did it on this side yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my fingers with the alcohol just to make sure they're nice and clean. Oh, if you have little cuts or like scrapes on your fingers, this might burn a little bit, but it's gonna clean them. I tend to pick at the sides of my nails, so they tend to burn a little bit, but this helps keep them clean. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. Okay, then we're gonna do the other swab. gonna do right here. I usually clean a little bit more than what I'm actually gonna poke just to be sure. Well that's done. Just dropped it. <laughs> We're gonna let that dry. So this is, um, I don't even know how many I've done at this point. Um, I've been on it for a couple months so I've done quite a few of these but again you only do two a month so probably like four. This might be the fifth or sixth one if I had to guess. So I'm gonna show you how I inject it, but keep in mind, um, you should always stick with what your doctor recommends. Also, Dupixent, I will link it below, has a video on their YouTube channel that gives details. They don't actually show them injecting it. Um, I My doctor's office told me to do it around my stomach, about, an, about two inches away from my belly button. Um, my belly button's there, so that's why I'm doing it like here, even though it looks like it's close. It's just because I got a tummy. <laughs> um, but you can also do your thigh. So you take this off. There we go. Um, there might be a drop or so, that's okay. You're gonna leave it. Um, and then uh, also uh, you don't, if you see any air bubbles in here, you don't push them out. Um, there's like a little thing in here, they, the air bubbles won't go in. So I'm gonna pinch, get right where I want it to go. And then I've seen people go fast injecting it into their stomach. I don't because I'm scared, so I usually go kind of slow. Oh, actually, that was pretty fast. Actually, faster is better. I'm gonna be honest, that wasn't as painful as it normally is. Almost done. You can't really see because the, the angle I'm at, but I can't really adjust the camera right now. I am pinching my skin as I'm injecting it. Almost there. And one thing I don't like about Dupixent, which is not a big deal, it's, it's like that for a reason, but one thing I don't like about it is towards the end, you have to push it all the way in so like I'll show you when I'm done but there's these little feet that you have to click past that's really annoying 
because if it doesn't click past, then it won't finish, but you basically have to push it all the way in until the needle clicks, so that way um, the needle can go into the thing. There we go. And then you can kind of see the needle is in there and it like pulls the needle up. So there's these little feet inside of here that clip onto the bottom of this plunger. And it, you have to almost push it like more than what you think it's gonna do. Otherwise it won't do that. So I need to put a bandaid on. My skin gets really red after, I just have sensitive skin. Um, if like, for instance, if I put my fake, my, uh, my like arm on my forehead, like if I'm laying in bed and I put my arm on my forehead, it will leave a red welt. So like even where my fingertips were, it's red. I just have sensitive skin. I like to wear stretchy pants and like elastic, like really baggy stuff the day that I do the injection. Makes it way less painful. Um, so that's how I do it. And then I'm gonna show you how I get into this jar to put my thing in there the proper way. Okay, here we go. I have a butter knife, so it's not sharp, but it's enough to where I can like pry the top piece off. Let's see here, you kind of have to like, oop, let's see. Maybe if I get the top piece off first. It is such a pain, I'm telling you guys, buy the right size. <laughs> Sharps container, I've heard people say like, oh, you can use milk jugs and then they'll take it, but I'm just kind of scared that they won't take it. There we go. So I've got all my other needles in here. Oh, yeah. My stomach is a, usually a little tender after the shot is done. That's, I feel like that's normal, at least for me, but again, I have sensitive skin. So this is the size of the holes that this is supposed to fit through. Keep in mind, this doesn't come off. Like, this is not, wow, the sun is like really, this is not gonna fit through that or that. So, buy the right container. Looks like one, two, three, four, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that was my fifth one. So that's about right. And then this just, it just pops on easier than taking it off. And it's sealed. It's not gonna come off really easily. And that's how I do it. So now let me give you a little update about the shot once I clean all this up. Okay, so I just cleaned up. I opened Isaiah's door, so you might hear him running around or screaming, that's just him. Um, but I think he's he's pretty preoccupied watching Toy Story right now. <laughs> he didn't even notice that I opened the door. So um, it's been a couple months. As I said, this is like my fifth injection that I've done for Dupixent, so it's like two months. Um, and I've noticed it, I've, I've, it's been super helpful. I've noticed a lot of things. Um, I still haven't noticed any like major side effects. The rash that I mentioned in my last video that happened after the first one, haven't had it since. Um, I I really don't get any other symptoms, any other side effects. The only thing that I notice, which isn't a side effect of the shot, I think it's just the shot when it wears off, is a couple days before my, um, my shot is due, um, I notice my um, sinuses feel a little gunky, uh, my asthma might be a little weird. I'm gonna be honest, this last two weeks, I have not been good at all about doing my budesonide rinses. I've actually felt really good. I know I still have to do the budesonide rinses. I just haven't been motivated to do them. I need to do it. And so I didn't notice it last week. Like I didn't notice any like gunky feeling last week, even though I wasn't doing the rinses. However, this week I did notice I was slightly more congested and I did yesterday. I was kind of wheezing a little bit. I took like a Snapchat story of my son and you can hear me like first thing in the morning, kind of like wheezy. And so I think that's because I wasn't doing the budesonide rinses like I was supposed to. And then of course my shot today. Um, and usually after my shot, like today, tomorrow, and maybe the next day, I'll probably be sneezing a lot. Um, I notice sneezing is a big thing just the first couple of days after. Um, and then after that I'm fine, which totally manageable. Don't mind that at all. Um, I can taste almost everything. I can't think of anything I can't taste. Um, I'm kind of a picky eater, so there's certain foods I don't eat anyway, but um, for instance, uh, I love s'mores frappuccinos from Starbucks when they're in season, and I get them every year that they come out, and this year I got it and I was like, holy moly, 
This tastes way better than I remember it tasting the last time I got it, last time it was in season. So like there's little things like that where like things taste a lot better. Um, I noticed foods like lettuce, like used to be just a texture thing. I can taste lettuce now, which is crazy. Um, really anything I can taste. I can smell a lot better, which is good and bad. Um, I forget like before, like a bad scent was like a good thing. It was like, oh my gosh, I can smell something. Um, where now like I'm a little more used to being able to smell, but in a way it's good. I forgot gas stations smell like gasoline. I forgot gasoline had a smell. I couldn't smell anything when I go to a gas station, which is crazy. Cause imagine like me being in a harmful environment and not knowing somebody could pour gas on me and I wouldn't even think it's gas cause I couldn't smell it. Um, that didn't happen, but I'm just saying like something crazy like that could have happened and I wouldn't be able to tell you a difference before it depicts it. And so I'm really happy that now I can smell, I can taste, I can breathe, which is by far the most important thing. <laughs> my asthma is really controlled. Um, while I wasn't doing my Vedasnide rinses, I wasn't super good about using my preventative inhaler either. <laughs> um, but even with that, I was still breathing really good, way better than before. So um, I am gonna get back on my my preventative inhaler for sure. Like I, I'm not off of it, but I am going to be better about it this week. Well, from now on and my rinses, um, cause I did notice I was paying a little bit of a consequence the last like two, three days because I wasn't doing those and it was getting closer to my day that I needed to inject Dupixent. So that is it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will answer it or I can make another video about it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.